Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be continuing with part three of our stylized bus sculpt. In part one, we began by sculpting a rough skull and body. And in part two, we added in the eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. In this part three, we'll sculpt some stylized blocky hair. And then in part four, we'll do some vertex painting and simple lighting. I've uploaded a couple of reference images to my Dropbox in case you wanted a rough guide as well. Okay, let's jump in. For the hair, I'm gonna start with the beard. Control tab into sculpt mode and then M for the mask tool. I'm going to paint in the shape of the beard I want like this. Once you're happy with the shape, go up to the mask menu here and select mask extract. I'm going to stick with the default options and press OK. Now we have a new separate object called mesh that is the exact shape we just outlined. You can adjust the thickness of the new object over here on the modifier panel. Once you have the desired thickness, you can click here to apply the mask extract modifier. Now control tab into sculpt mode and press alt M to clear the sculpt mask. Switch to any other brush than the mask brush and then you can hold shift to start smoothing. I'm also going to pull it in a little bit towards the skin with the deform brush as it's sitting up on top of the skin too much for my liking. Now onto the hair base, same thing, control tab into sculpt mode. You'll see though if I hide the beard object we just created that the mask we painted earlier is still there. Before we do the hair, make sure to press Alt M to clear it or else you'll get another copy of the beard. Now paint in the shape of your hair base as you like. Same thing, up to the mask menu, select mask extract, adjust the thickness, and then apply the mask extract modifier. Control tab back into sculpt mode, alt M to clear the mask, then switch to any other brush than the mask brush and hold shift to smooth. You can also shift R and control R to voxel remesh if you'd like. Now for a mustache, I'm going to shift A and add in a capsule, moving it to the side and then adding in a mirror modifier, then control A and clearing all transforms, then control tab into sculpt mode, and then with the deform brush, I'm going to pull it into a pointy shape like this. You can also use the snake hook brush, which I like to do as well. Eyebrows, same process as before for the beard and hair. Control tab into sculpt mode, M for the mask tool. Paint in the shape of the eyebrow you'd like. Up to the mask menu, select mask extract. Adjust the thickness to your liking in the modifier panel on the right of your new object. Then apply the modifier. Control tab back into sculpt mode. Shift R and lowering the voxel size for some more detail and control. Control R to perform the voxel remesh. Switch off of the mask brush and then hold shift to smooth. Now onto the top of the hair, I'm gonna add in a little style. 
I have a roughed in bulky body that I put around the head for fun here just to see how it would look as a full body character. Shift A to add a rounded cube, then the deform brush to shape it like this. Here I'm going to turn off X symmetry and then selecting the snake hook tool, I'm going to add in a little flip of the hair like this. Okay, that looks good. Now just sliding the top of the hair a little to the side to make it a little bit less uniform and symmetrical. Now onto the eyelashes. Shift A and adding in a single vertex. I'm going to go up and turn the snap function on by clicking on this little magnet icon. Then clicking on the little pull down right next to it and selecting snap to face. Then I'm going to turn off project onto self and turn on project individual elements. Now when I press G to move the single vertex, it will snap onto the face of the closest object. Let's move it over the eyelid. Press E to extrude it to match the shape of the eyelid like this. Make sure as you make the shape that you match the same number of vertices on the top and bottom. Now select the four vertices on the end and press F to make a face. Now select the two outer vertices, open to the rest of the vertices and press F all the way down and Blender will automatically create quad faces for you. To give it a little bit of volume, I'm going to tab into edit mode, select all the vertices by pressing A, then turn off snap to face and then press E to extrude it all out. I'm going to rotate these vertices around a bit to get a tapered shape as the eyelash goes towards the middle of the eye. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now up to the object menu, let's shade smooth. And then over to the modifier panel, let's add in a subdivision surface modifier as well as a mirror modifier. Control A to clear all transforms if it's not mirroring over to the other side. Okay, onto the goatee. I'm going to control tab into sculpt mode, shift R and control R to voxel remesh. And then with the inflate brush, I'm going to create a long cylindrical shape like this. Now to add some detail to the hair, shift select the base and the top, and then control J to join them. Shift R and control R to voxel remesh at a lower voxel size for some more detail. Then I'm going to turn on X symmetry here for the sides. Let's select the inflate brush again and then go up to the stroke menu here and tick stabilize stroke. Now when you use the brush, you'll notice a red line pops up. This feature allows you to more smoothly pull long flowing or straight strokes. This can also be helpful when doing hard surface sculpting. I'm going to do it a few times on the sides of the head. Then I'm going to switch to the scrape brush and go over it again to flatten it out and give it a stylized angular look. Note that I already have the stabilized stroke feature on for this brush as well.
Then I'm going to switch to the crease brush and use it in between the channels I just created for some added detail. Okay, now for the top, I'm going to turn off X symmetry and do the same thing as we did for the sides. Inflate brush with stabilized stroke on. After I use the inflate brush, I like to press Control R to remesh and clean up some of the geometry. Then using the scrape brush over it to flatten it out. then crease brush in between to accentuate the channels. Okay, now with all of that laid out, I'm going to go over everything with the smooth brush to soften the starts and ends of each channel. They're starting to look a little bit too harsh to me. So lots of smooth brush over the beginning and end of each stroke I did earlier to have it sort of fade into the base of the hair and make it a little bit more gradual. Once I've done that, I go over once more very quickly with the scrape and crease brushes to sharpen it back up a bit.
Then the same workflow on the eyebrows. Inflate and scrape brushes with the stabilized stroke. Control R and remeshing after each one to clean up the geometry. Then crease brush in between. Then smooth the ends a little bit to make it a little bit more gradual. Then some more scrape brush and crease to tighten things back up. Here I also use the snake brush to give it a little bit more of a fun shape. Here I just decided to ditch the mustache. I thought he looked a little bit more badass without it. So onto the beard and the same workflow as before. I also decided that I didn't like the goatee very much, so using the lasso mask and mask slice and fill holes options up in the mask menu, I just chop it off and flatten it out. So there you have it, one way to sculpt some very blocky stylized hair. In the next final part of this video series, we'll add some lighting and do some vertex painting. Give me a shout on social media and show me what you're coming up with. I love seeing your guys' creations. I have a little Facebook group going now too, which makes sharing and asking questions a little bit easier. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped and see you in the next one.